Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Welcome back to Stogie Geeks, episode 327. I am your host, Stogie Geeks. This is the Stogies of the Week section. And the stick of the week this week is the Placencia Almadel Fuego. The specific size is the Condente Robusto. That is a 5 by 50 Super excited to talk about the stick. And then Drew and I are going to get into what we have been smoking. Drew, Elma del Fuego, what do you think? Okay, there we go. Uh, All right. Elma de- okay, now we're... <laughs> I got to turn on the mic here. Uh, no, great cigar. Uh, Elma del Fuego is Spanish for Soul of the Fire. Uh, definitely, mm-hmm. you know, very one of the, one of the, uh, uh, you know, one I've had, uh, and, and it's in my regular rotation. Uh, the conception is, uh, uh, that these, uh, the on the top, uh, is, is, is very rich and, and, and nutrient. And that's, you know, one of the, <clears throat> one of the regions where the tobacco is grown. So, uh, great cigar. Uh, I've had it, like I said, a few, uh, few different occasions and uh and uh continue enjoying it there you go this cigar is available in three different sizes it's available in the robusto size that's a five by fifty toro size six by fifty four and the pantella size which i actually like that size as well it's a six and a half by thirty eight if you missed the review on the pantella you can go back a couple of stogie geeks episodes or um, come Monday or Tuesday, uh, you can go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash Placencia and you can uh, get all of the reviews all in one spot as we are going through this Placencia series. Uh, let me tell you something about this stick. What, what I really like about this stick is um, the smoke content you get from a lot of the Placencia cigars. It's so characteristic of that. If you don't believe me, you can go back to the Stogie Geek archives, either via YouTube or on, on your wherever you get your uh, podcast catchers from. you got to check out the interview that we did with Nesta Placencia because he actually gives a reason to, to, like, I'm not off my rocker when I say that the smoke content is really, really strong uh, here yeah. um, whenever you have a Placencia cigar. But what I like about it, Rapid Binder the Filler is obviously all Nicaraguan. It's mm-hmm. really strong. It's 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 a medium plus for me. And the retro hail, you're gonna get kind of characteristics. Believe it or not, you're gonna get some some. I couldn't really put my 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 my, my hands on it. I was like, I, it tastes fruity to me, right? I'm like mm-hmm. I'm like, where am I? What is this? What is this? Well, according to their website, you get a hint of spice with tangerine. I'm like, that makes sense. There you go. So yeah, absolutely. Um, and then again. It's got a sun-grown wrapper uh, from the Jalapa Valley. Super cool sticks. It's very complex, uh, especially within the retro hail, for sure. Um, I dug mm-hmm. the Robusto size, no question. But for me, that Pentella size is really where it's at because you're going to get mm-hmm. all of those nutrients in the flavor from that actual wrapper. Yeah. There you have it. So, um Stogie Geeks, if you go to Placencia, um, well, you can go to Placencia.com uh, cigars. But if you go to StogieGeeks.com, click on the Placencia uh, banner, you'll be able to type in your zip code and find a brick and mortar uh, near you. Give them a call. I'm sure they will be readily accepting your call, and they can ship you some Placencia cigars for sure. You won't be disappointed. Um, unlike the, the Reserver or the Cosecha 146, um, I don't know if I would use this stick for – a special occasion or a gift because it's unique flavor. Um, unless the person who you're gifting it to really like strong cigars, that would be right. my advice. I was going to say that, you know, the full, it is definitely a full, uh, mm. a medium to full just on the, just, I mean, some people say a medium to full. I'm going to say it's, it's full for me, uh, on the retro. I mean, you do get that, that, uh, that that leather and you know you get that uh, spice there, uh, the spice I'm gonna call it more of a cayenne spice, not really too, uh, you know, punchy, but it's there. You could definitely get that. And that citrus, finally, when you said tangerine, I was like, that's what it is. 
Wow. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, you know, it's, uh, you know, and and I, I try to smoke it and and not look at the website, you know, for us because it's like kind of cliff notes, right? Because they're gonna right. tell you what it could potentially taste like or what what they're really going for. And I try to do it. I'm like, I couldn't picture it. I don't need a lot of tangerines, but um, yeah. you can definitely taste that tangerine component in that retro hail, no question. But like I said. Powerful smoke content. Get a little bit of roasted nuts towards the end. You get some leather uh, components. To, uh, a lot to, of earth. To, a lot yeah, of earth. A, well, a ton of Nicaraguan earth for sure, mm-hmm. which I think that that develops that that packed, dense smoke content that you get in the Placencia line for sure. But when you're smoking that Pentella size. Like, you really can taste the actual tangerine component for sure. The Robusto, it's a little bit washed out for me. You have to really work at it um, mm-hmm. and, and really – but both of those sticks or all three of them, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but when, when you take the Fama, which is the, the, the smaller size, you, you, mm-hmm. you, can, you can use a bullet cut. I have a little bullet cut. It's not a real big one. It's a uh, – let me see. Yeah. So it's a little yeah. bullet cut there. And you can just about get it there. Um, I bullet cut or V cut a lot of my stuff, so that that's kind of like my my go to um, there. Um, actually, never had these via a guillotine cut, but uh, mm. again, I like that that tar build up and yeah. the leather component. But like, I mean, if you want like Nicaraguan 101 classic ni- Nicaraguan, you got to get into the Placencia line. There's no yeah. question. There's no way around it. You know. True. Yeah, the little sweet, what? a little sweetness you get from that too. I was going to touch on real quick. It's just a little bit of that clove. You definitely get that spice in there. That's uh, you know, it just tends to be just a little bit sweet on the back of your palate uh, as it's rolling through, and then you know, as you as you release it, uh, yeah, you you definitely get that sweetness that comes through. Mm, absolutely. What what else have you, have you been smoking, Drew, this week? So I've been smoking. I got these in the mail. These are called the. Uh, Blue Mountain Cigar, El Threesome. Uh, don't know much about the stick, uh, other than it's it's definitely a uh, Maduro wrapper uh, stick. I don't know if you see that there. I got a few of these in the mail. And uh, just wanted to give them a try. Went on their website, took a look at them. Uh, a very, uh, very uh, earthy, uh, oaky, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, smoke content for sure on this cigar. Uh, didn't I didn't have to relight it once and it burned very evenly, and uh, so it's one of the one of the, you know I'm, I'm on number two of of three, and uh, this cigar from you know has, has been pretty much pretty consistent. Um, there's still some more uh, st- some more research I'm working on it. Uh, I've been trying to get some new stuff uh, in this COVID nineteen uh, situation. Uh, you know from a brick and mortar versus you know mail you know calling one of the big guys uh, so but uh yeah uh that's what i've been smoking uh blue mountain cigar i would give this a uh try one and then uh from there from what i understand they do have several different uh uh offerings uh, on their website uh they've been around since 1995 uh and they are made in nicaragua so that's what i've been smoking sir there you go. There you go. I've been slowing down my my cadence and smoking, and trying to pick pick my 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 smoking spots. Right. I'm still not uh-huh. in the studio and all of that type stuff. I've been yeah. digging this week the Christoph Corojo Limitada. Mm. I, I've I've kind of like uh, you know jumped back, shopped at my local brick and mortar. Of course, it was curbside, and they they're very big on Christoph. So had yeah. the uh, Corojo Limitada. It's a torpedo size. It's six and um, uh, six and a quarter by fifty is the ring gauge. Your wrapper is a Nicaraguan Corojo Habano. Your binder is a Nicaraguan Habano. Your filler is Nicaraguan Habano with Dominican Habano. Complexity, flavor, and balance. Complexity, I gave it a seven. Flavor and balance, I gave it a both eight on a scale of one to ten. Uh, it's available in four different sizes, Churchill, Matador, Torpedo, and Robusto. I had the Matador, which is a six and a half by 56. I obviously had the Torpedo, which is what I'm mentioning here. And I've had the Robusto. I really didn't get into the Churchill size just because I'm not like, uh, chilling out for, for two hours outside. It's still a little cold, uh, here in the yeah. Northeast where we get those raw, 
rainy or post rainy days. So uh, maybe in May or in the beginning of May when we're still under the quarantine and the orders start to get lifted, I might get into some of the bigger sizes there. But um, the most prominent notes I get from this is cedar with some pepper. Flavor, again, all in the retro hail. Comes in a little pigtail. You can just pick it right off. Don't need a cutter or anything like that. Uh, again, you get some cedar. Uh, uh, and then um, the bulk of the cigar, what I like about it is towards the end, if you're able to, to, to just utilize the pigtail as opposed yeah. to guillotine in it, you get like a sweet cedar with a, a leather component that, that's not harsh at all. Um, it's, mm-hmm. it's a definite uh, must try for sure. Uh, I've been getting into the Christoph Vengeance as well. But in regards yeah. to the Christoph Corojo Limitada, I would give it a box split for sure. There you go. What would there you, you uh... What's up? Oh, nothing. I'm sorry. I was doing something else. And Stogie, <laughs> no problem. And Stogie Geeks, I want to encourage you, uh, if you want my rating on the El Madel Fuego, uh, if you go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the Stogie section, that will be up there in a full description come about Monday or Tuesday of this week as we launch the podcast and go that there. You get to watch it live on Fridays, and then as Johnny does his magic and all of that stuff, it gets distributed through your podcast catcher on Monday. I'll have my review up there by Tuesday. If you want to go to stogiegeeks.com and click on Stogies, you can actually pick them out, some of the ones that I have reviewed in the past. We're getting a little bit more active on that uh, there as well. Um, And then also a quick programming note. Next week, uh, I guess the boys, uh, Alec and Bradley, are going on a world tour because they've been on just about every video podcast over the past (laughs) couple weeks. Uh, Certainly there. I've I've had a chance to catch up and and see some of their interviews. And again, it's kind of like a... Uh, it, it's another generation, right? It's it's the it's the, the 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 sons of where the company of Alec Bradley was founded, right? For, uh, as far as the name and its second generation, and I can't wait to to hear their their insight and talk about some of their sticks as well. I've been into to their uh, blind faith for sure. Um, super good smoke. Uh, definitely, you want you want to check check out Stogie Geeks episode three twenty eight next week. Um, as we have that going on in the programming note. Any other thing you want to wrap up on, Drew, before we wrap up? No, I just want to say keep continuing uh, supporting your uh, brick-and-mortar retailer out there. They're all doing curbside. Uh, again, you know, we're, we're, it looks like we're in this for another few weeks, and who knows beyond that. But, uh, yeah, keep continuing, uh, you know, supporting those guys and get your stogies there. Do you guys have anything you guys want to talk about? You know, we're always on, on our uh, – platform so hit us up yeah absolutely if you uh, are on twitter you go to joe hosempa all one word or stogie geeks or drew stogie geeks you can find him uh yeah. over there as well drew's email is drew at stogie i'm joe h stogie geeks.com um yeah but i, I definitely want to say uh if you can get out there and support your local brick and mortar um they they really need you at this particular point uh unfortunately throughout this whole distribution supply chain blocks oh, yeah. and obstacles that we're going through with this COVID era. Um, cigars will be pl- plentifully available for us, um, you know, as usually they run about six to eight months in advance. So let's call it, it's been month two. So four or five months from now is maybe when we're going to really f- see somewhat of a strain. But it also gives you a chance, if your brick and mortar doesn't have something that 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 you normally is your quote-unquote go-to or whatever, do what I've done and, 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 and try something new and try something different and, uh, you know, try your best to, to stay safe through this. I think we've gone through more weeks of stay at home than less weeks, yeah. I'm hoping. You know, uh, I'm hoping that when they start to release the restrictions, they don't come up with another three week deadline from there. But I guess that would depend on geographically where you live. So I want to encourage the Story Geeks listener. I want to thank you for listening and I want to thank you for watching and I want to thank you for your support. Tune in next week. We got another cool interview lined up as well. And of course, I want to remind you that behind every cigar, there's a story worth knowing. So get out there and shop local curbside. For now, 
and we will soon be in brick and mortar shops. I'm assuming a chair a pot or two. That might be coming <laughs> soon, but at least you'll be able to take some time out of a crazy world and get out there and smoke your cigars. So, absolutely. That being said, Stow Your Geeks, we'll see you next time. Peace.